Previously on Revelations 2. Mother of both! My life is awesome! That bitch stuck a needle in me? Here the virus. Claire, get up to the roof! See? We're like sisters. the girl. Moira was trying to get to that tower when I was with her. Mary, there's something right there. I've been waiting for you. Wait, well that's one hell of a parking job. Me and Moira got separated here. The nice guy came and got me. Two Westers. Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations 2. I'm Burning Dogface, and this is Episode 3, Judgment. Confessions and lies are the same. To confess, one must tell lies. Franz Kafka. That is generally, in fact, not true. I knew it was Claire, more intact. any luck? No. No sign of her. What could have happened? Moira, look. Someone left a message. It says, head for the factory. And on a scale of bullshit to believable? Neil wrote this. It's legit. How oh, instead of that, we just go in there and put a bullet in Alex Wesker's head? Last time, we learned that, uh... That's who the Overseer is. Alex Wesker. Sister of the late Albert Wesker. We came pretty I can't believe we lost the girl. I didn't even ask for her name. That is weird. She might have just taken cover. We can look for her as we go. Ammo check. Hmm. Hmm. Right, I forgot about that. Okay. It does make a few things make more sense. I don't know, I still don't know why she's targeting Terra Save. But I'll tell you this. I know why she grabbed Claire Redfield. Because Claire's brother put Alex's brother in the ground at the end of RE5. I mean, you know, spoilers, but uh, the game did come out in 2009. Alright. I did wonder why they had that whole other side of the street done up. When it would have been much more dramatic just to uh, have this entrance. That's the only thing you could walk up to. <laughs> ah, I found it. Another of uh, Derek Floyd's weapon explanations. Uh, no. This one! Uh, this shotgun is a TOZ-194... TOZ-194-02, the compact version of the TOZ-94 shotgun. Capcom used the English translation of the manufacturer for this one. Uh, this, in English, is Tula Arms Plant, or TAP. Tulski Oruzeni Zavod. Hmm. Neat. But, uh, we don't, uh, want her to stand around in the street all day, do we? <laughs> By our strengths combined, we have opened the door. Boy, oh boy. My incredible psychic powers tell me that nothing joyous has ever occurred in this facility. So, uh, Claire? Why would the boss come here? I don't know. Neil just does things sometimes. Oh, 
I'm not gonna lie, I feel pretty good about that one. Oh hell yeah. I'm not sure whether I prefer the, the Glint system with Moira or with uh, Natalia better. Because with Natalia, I can just see them whenever. But when with Moira, Claire can see the glints when the, when the flashlight is pointing at them, I think. Uh, Alright, if there was one immediately around here, that would sort of disprove that. So I guess it's still a to-be-determined. So, Alex Wesker is trying to take over the world and maybe have a little petty revenge while she's at it. I... At least that's the way it seems to me. What? You know, what's the line from Die Hard with a Vengeance? He may have been an asshole, but he was still my brother. Really strong feeling with that corner for some reason. Oh, hey. That doesn't usually happen. not right about this. Be careful. I mean, she could literally be looking down at us, I'm just saying. But yeah, she has eyes everywhere. I don't think uh, Pedro ever told us about the, uh, you know, the listening devices before he turned into a monster. And you know, you might not assume. I don't think she's ever actually responded to any of the things we've said. Just comments on how pathetic we are and gives us uh, instructions. This is Niels. Oh, the ID. That's nice. Where's Neil? We've got to hurry. Neil needs me. He needs you? <sighs> Let's search inside. Do I detect a hint of chemistry? Machine pistol ammo case. Nice. Thanks for that. You found a block of C4. A retinal scanner? In a factory? God damn this! It's not gonna let us through. Which means we need someone else's eyeball? Yay. For the record, Prometheus wasn't chained to a rock because he stole divine power. He was chained to a rock because him stealing divine power made Zeus think that he looked stupid. He specifically stole 
uh, from the gods the ability to heal and the ability to uh, make fire. Before he did that, if a human being got cut, they'd just bleed forever until they died. I don't like this place. I feel like I was being watched even if I wasn't literally being watched. All right, confirmed. Dreams. Grape star, power coffee. Brings back warm, fuzzy memories of that really weird uh, Easter egg from Evil Within 2. Or no, no, it had to be the first one, because it was a monster that only appeared in the first one. Yeah, that's right, it was in the uh, the DLCs where you play as Kidman. Where you use the machine a bunch of times in a row, and it uh, opens a secret peephole for you to view a scene. Try pointing my uh, ca uh, camera phone at that and uh, translating it with that little app I have. Meat. Awesome. Oh, right now she can't tell if it's alive or not. She's just got a light. So I guess I'm looking for a big stone liver. Since, you know, they... Was... <laughs> Fuck! Wow! Expecting that. Or no, I guess you can have that one. Yeah, uh, in the myth, Prometheus gets chained to a rock for all of eternity. And every single morning, I think it's an eagle, lands on the rock and devours his liver. And then over the course of the day, his liver regenerates. No, this is getting silly. Let's get rid of that. I think that was the same voice from the Russian radio broadcast that my little despair translated. You don't think about that. Wide toilets.
Dang it. I was hoping for some, like, some of that pointless lore that just sort of fleshes out an area. I always liked that stuff. You know, and this one would be like, we walk into the kitchen there, and we find a note about what they're serving for uh, lunch this week. So yeah, I guess you do need that. You know, I can't help but think that particularly given that in co-op mode, uh, you know, player two is just stuck as Moira or Natalia all the time, but you would think that uh, they would just put the hidden items everywhere to give player two, you know, a lot of stuff to do. Like, if that's their job, you'd think they'd make it really important. Stabbed himself in the gut to death. Well, I guess we'd saw that dude's head off. He looked important. Oh. Oh, fuck. I do see him there, so I'll just walk up and kill him. Oh dear. You need a hand, or...? Jesus, she's not even... Hmm, okay. Wait. I guess it's kind of redundant since there is a guy that we just took care of, but, you know. It's a video game, you can never be sure. Oh, hey. I want to wash that one before you spray it onto your body, but you know, just a thought. Alright, this factory had to be a fucked up factory. We haven't actually seen anything fucked up yet aside from the monsters, and, uh... That's pretty par for the course around here. Nuts red. Oh shit, I hope there's no one of those bugs in the island at this point in history. realize we have absolutely no way of detecting them. Oh! Imagine that. Claire, look at the ceiling. Okay, I don't like that. Okay, let's look at everything before doing anything. Alright, those are birds, but I don't think these are the birds that peck out Prometheus's liver. Ah. Notice hit X and take the fucking key, might. Okay, let me see. Oh fuck, why do they take up extra space? Oh. You should just accept your death quietly like a grown-up. In what universe do grown-ups do that? You have met humans, yeah? Check it out. It's got a key. 
heating its heat. Let's find a way to pry it loose. No good. It's stronger than it looks. Well, thank you for clarifying that for me. I actually thought I missed. Can't push it. Well, that's not the answer. You know, if you guys would just leave the door open, this would be a total non-issue. I mean, look. Doors open inwards. Leave doors open. Cage cannot close. Fucking hell, have Moira stand by this one and hold it open so that I can just grab this eye and run. Why are the birds not moving? Not sure what we're missing. But I guess that will have to wait for the next episode of Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations 2. When we figure out how we're going to claim this eye without getting murdered. And the key, I suppose. That's probably important, too. And we are not going to do it by quietly accepting our deaths. Wish me luck, Running Dog fans. This one might be tricky. Later!